Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Wax Break. Today we're going to be opening up something real special. This is the 1989 Sports Flicks Hobby Box. This has a total of 36 packages in this box. Uh, this box is opened up, but I ordered it for very cheap on eBay. So I was pretty interested in it. I do have a few Sport Flix cards in my collection, but I do not have any 1989. So I'm very curious as to see what these cards are like. And so I thought it was pretty cool that when you open up this box here, take off the sleeve, and we open this up. It has a preview of one of the cards right there. You can see it is holographic. Sport Flix cards are really uh, quite magical for the time frame that I was in, especially in the 80s. So these cards were... Pretty interesting, pretty cool to have. So we have 36 packs we need to open up. Each of these packs has nine Magic Motion player cards in them, which is pretty cool. So I'm really excited to take a look at these to increase my Sport Flix card collection. So let's go ahead and get started with these cards. And they are such nice cards. I love these. We've got Dave Henderson, BJ Suroff. Whoa, we've got some, some of those mini cards there. This looks like we only get five cards per pack. It says nine Magic Motion player photos. Okay, pretty interesting. Well, disregard that then. Well, we got three cards per pack, and looks like the two um, the trivia cards as well. So we can keep these two trivia cards aside here. So we got some pretty nice cards here: Eddie Murray, B.J. Surhoff, and Dave Henderson. So we're gonna keep go ahead and opening up all these packs. So we can increase our sport flick collection. And so up here, this card on the packaging, which looks really cool, uh, it is a Rick Ruschel card. We got there, Barry Hill, Rick Ruschel, there you go, same card right there. How about that? And we got our two trivia cards as well, and Kevin Bass for the Astros. There we go. We will keep on going here, opening up all 36 packs of these. See if we can complete the set. I don't know how many cards are in this set. I would imagine it's not too big. Uh, I would take a wild guess and just say about 200, maybe? I have to do some research, but I'll have to start checking the numbers on the back of these cards. So we got a Barry Larkin 11, Mike Witt 39, Mike Harkey 48. So these are some pretty low numbered cards. I don't know if they have different series. But this looks like we got some lower numbered cards, so we might be able to complete the set. Of course, whenever I say that, we never get close to completing it. There's a nice Wade Boggs cards there. Got our two minis, Jose Uribe and Tri-Stars card. That's pretty cool. Wade Boggs, Jose Canseco, Mike Greenwell. So we should have three. I can only see two. I can see Jose Canseco and I can see Wade Boggs. Oh, there it is. There's Mike Greenwell. Okay. Wow, that is pretty cool. There are three in that. That is really interesting. Really cool. I just love playing this with these cards. For 1989, this is pretty impressive to me. And so let's see, we got card 4, 32, and 42. So we got another Dave Henderson, Dennis Martinez, Danny Tartabull. Real nice. Keep going here. David Cohn, 44, 45, 48. I'm trying to figure out how many numbers there are. Looks like we keep getting these low numbers here. If we can get this stand to keep staying up. So there we go. Let's see what else we can get. Ozzy Smith, number one, real nice. And a Cal Ripken Jr. and a Will Clark, really cool. That was a nice pack there. That'd be nice to get back in the day. So we'll set those two guys aside. Cal Ripken and Ozzy Smith, real nice pulls there. Keith Moreland, John Candelaria, and Tim Belcher. I'm just looking at the backs for the, the card numbers, really. Looks like we haven't gotten anything really higher than 49 there. Let's keep on going here. Steve Sachs, number three, 33, and four, Len Dykstra. Real nice. Probably have to go through these trivia cards pretty soon, but I will just keep on collecting those. And if this stand would stay up, that would be great. So there, I, I kind of just put all the, the packs all in one stand there. Easier to grab. Less motion on the stand there to keep it up. 49 right there, 15 and 37. And please like Jeff Treadway and Teddy Higuera. I can't really say his name right. I don't know why it says nine magic motion player photos. Oh, I guess be because it would be three. 
photos per card. Three cards would give you nine photos. Oh, they try to trick you there. See, so there's three different photos in each card, which is still cool, still impressive. But there's only three cards. So that's how they get you. Still real interesting and appealing to me. Terry Steinbach, Fernando Valenzuela, and a Lance Parrish there. Pretty cool. Set those. Still have a nice handful of these packs left, so we'll try to hurry through them. Doesn't look like for sure there are no inserts in these because inserts weren't too popular back then. Greg Maddox there and Chili Davis. But we can still pull some really good players. Carney Lansford. Vince Coleman and Craig Worthington right there. Since I already got a Rick Ruschel card, the one that's featured right there, I'll probably just keep him on there, on this little box, this little stand here, because it's a nice collectible. Nice collectible to have. Dave Parker, Jack Clark, Brian Harvey. Okay, let's keep on trucking there. Mike Marshall 5, 29 Tim Walk, and Joey Meyer. Did we get... Oh, yeah. Still in the pack. I thought, like, well, where's my two trivia cards there? And these trivia cards are really getting piled up. Trivia cards are really tough to stack and sort, unlike your traditionally sized baseball cards. There's a Barry Bonds card on the Pirate, real nice. Card 24, set him aside. Bobby Thigpen and Tom Henke, so that's card 50 right there. And if we have 50, if we have 36 packs times 3, that would be 108 cards, I believe, if I do my math right. We get 108 cards. The highest number card that I've seen is card 50. So statistically, we might be able to get the whole set here, which would be really cool. I also found this pretty interesting. On the back of these cards, it says like you can get plus nine sport flex cards and 12 plastic storage sheets, as well as a super baseball card album for ten dollars, <laughs> which I found to be pretty interesting for the pricing of that. Paul Molitor and Dan Plesak. Open up this one down here. And let's see, Glenn Davis, card 27, Marty Barrett, and 22, Luis Polonia, I think. So let's set the trivia cards over there. Trivia cards are getting real piled up. So the stand no longer has a support stack holding it. Kevin Mitchell, number 7, once we pull it out. 33, Matt Noakes. 52, okay, so we got card 52. So the set number is getting a little bit higher now. So we will keep going to see if we can complete the set. Andres Gallagher, Mike, Mark McGuire, nice. For the 25, we'll set him aside, and Joey Meyer. So certainly all these cards have some pretty notable names. Uh, attached to them. Don't want to knock the stand down. The frame in the back. Mel Hall, 27. Daryl Strawberry, nice. 18 and another Fernando Valenzuela. Let's go ahead and see what else is in here. Julio Franco, number 14 on the Indians. Judy Reed and another Chili Davis. Let's see here what we can get in these packs. Mike Sosha. I haven't heard of Mike Sosha in a while in my cards. Robin Yount, though. Really nice. Card 19. We'll set him aside. And a Craig Worthington as well. I'm seeing these motion trivia cards. They all look kind of similar to me. I don't, they're probably different. They probably have a, a default picture in some of them. 
But most of them seem pretty similar to me, if you can look at them. It's like they got the Cooperstown card there. They all say Cooperstown card on them, but I'm sure... I'm sure they're all kind of the same. Got Sandy Koufax on that one. That's an interesting trivia question, I'm sure. Tom Browning, Roberto Alomar, and Terry Pendleton in that pack. And we got two more trivia cards. This pile is getting pretty big over here. They're certainly pretty thick cards. I mean, they kind of have to be to be a nine Magic Motion player card photos in these. So they do have some thickness to them. There's Jim Presley there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six more packs left. So we've opened up 30 of them, which is real nice. These are our last six packs. Got Glenn Wilson, Tim Burke, and Rick Sucklife. Set those over there and those over there. Let's take a look. Got a Roger Clemens there. Very nice. We'll set him aside. Jose Lind. Another TriStars card. So this TriStar has Oral Hershiser, Tom Browning, and Dennis Eckersley. So let's see. We got Dennis Eckersley there. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. And then we've got Tom Browning, and then Oral Hershiser right there. And I like those cards. I like that they can do that. Really cool. Really expands their broad on the pictures you can use in these cards. So these are our last three packs of the Sport Flix cards. Another TriStar card. Really cool. Gary Sheffield, Greg Jeffries, and Sandy Alomar. So we got Gary Sheffield there, if you can see him. Actually, that one right there is... I can see it. That's what, that one is Greg Jeffries. There's Gary. And then there's Sandy. Pretty cool. Set those over there. Last two packs to open up for the Sport Flicks. Pete O'Brien. Eric Davis and Kevin Gross. So 52 is still the highest number that I've seen. We certainly opened up more than 52 cards. So this is the last pack of the 1989 Sport Flick Magic Motion Baseball cards. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. We'll do a quick recap of some of the more notable cards that we've got. But let's go ahead and open up our last pack here. See if anything special will come out of it. Chris Sabo, Mark Davis, and Don Slott. Nothing too notable there. And two more trivia cards. So there is our big pile over here. And then here are the more notable names that we pulled. We got a nice Roger Clemens. Of course, Robin Young's always good. Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds, Cal Ripken Jr., and Ozzie Smith. These are your generic, notable names that card collectors are usually looking for right here. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys did, go ahead and subscribe for more Wax Breaks, unboxing reviews, and card showcases. And I will see you guys next time.